This is a grade six math practice test for T and ready. Currently, we're on question number 26. Adriana has fabric that is three-fourths of a yard long. She needs to cut the fabric into pieces that are one-eighth yard long. How many one-eighth yard long pieces will she have? So she has a piece of fabric, for instance, and she's cutting it into pieces. That's literally dividing. She's dividing it into equal parts. So we're going to do division here. That would indicate three-fourths divided by one-eighth, but do you have to go through with that? We will in a second, but let's think of it a different way. If I could figure out how many eighths three-fourths is, three is, I could easily just say, well, I need that many one-eighths, and I'm done, right? So three-fourths, I'm going to convert it to eighths, because that's the um, denominator here. So in order to get to there, I need to multiply by two. Same thing up top. And 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 eighths. Guess how many 1 eighths it takes to get to 6 eighths? One, two, three, four, five, six. See how they're the same? It took me 6 to get there. So you could do it that way too. Might save you a bunch of time. You wouldn't even have to write all that out, I'm just saying. But if you needed to do division, that's fine. Division of fractions is, of course, a strategy. The strategy we're going to use is keep it, flip it, switch it. So I'm going to keep the first fraction. I'm going to flip the second one, and I'm going to switch this to multiply. When you multiply fractions, you want to multiply the numerators and keep that number, and then you want to multiply the denominators and keep that number. So 3 times 8 is 24, 4 times 1 is 4, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. And again, this is a calculator optional section, so you, if you have trouble doing those multiplies or even reducing, try it in the calculator, and it'll make it way easier. And then you should be able to say, okay, well, 1 eighth times 6, which is 6 over 1, gives me 6 eighths, which reduces 3 fourths. Another way you could check it if you have a calculator and you just feel like it, because in your heart you really want to, because I'm sure that's what everybody wants to do with this. Um, I could say, well, it's 3 fourths. Okay, so 0 0.75, and I think 1 eighth. So I have this, so I just keep multiplying it by stuff, and I think it's 6, right? There it is. It gave me the same number. So my answer to number 26 is 6, and there are plenty of ways that you can test that answer to make sure that you are correct.